surprise, surprise, we have some more news for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Specifically, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And I'm going to just say this once again. There's a lot of people who keep spouting that there's going to be a Xenoverse 3 one day. While I wish that's true, it's just, it's just very, very unlikely. They are, they are so dedicated to pushing Xenoverse 2 and making it like a, a like a live service game. Is that what the phrase is called? And you even see that in this image I'll show you in this video. But that's a whole other conversation for another day. Maybe one day they'll decide to move on. But let's be real. The stuff that they do with Xenoverse 2 is basically what they would do with Xenoverse 3. That's just how Bandai works. When they release the sequels, once they do a drastic improvement, they don't really do that much big difference in improving the overall game. Like Xenoverse 1, Xenoverse 2 was night and day. But if they were to go from Xenoverse 2 to Xenoverse 3, it would be essentially the same game. It just they slapped a new label on it. Which is why they're just promoting Xenoverse 2 this much. But beside the point. Look, we have a new trailer. Let's actually watch this first. And then we'll get into all the news that just dropped this morning. This is all literally fresh. Ooh! Is this the timeline of stuff that came out? It's too loud. Turn this down like right here. I predict we're going to get nothing too crazy. Like what I want to see right now is ambitious stuff in the game. And I feel like we're not going to get there quite yet. Take a step towards the future. Ooh. All right. Why don't you come with me? Is that few? That's few. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 is this, uh, are we getting what is stuff? One of my biggest complaint in Xenoverse was we thought we were going to get like a bunch of what if stuff and it was so lame. All the what if stuff that we got in Xenoverse was like so like minimal that it wasn't really different. This looks cool. But I'm not going to like overhype it yet because I know for all, all we know, this is going to be like one second of the actual cutscene and then it'll just go back to Goku being the guy. But this is dope. What is this? What is what is this? What, what, what scene is this? Does anyone know what scene this is? Because this is obviously Battle of Gods, but what is what is this one from? And yeah, that's the key art that they, re they revealed. I bet you it's going to be the PS5 box art. It's hot. Is that it? Ain't no way you got me up for just one minute. Is there more? What is the what is the point? Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all. Hold on, I, I gotta get some music going. We, we gotta have some kind of music in the background. Let's turn it down so it's not super loud. There we go. This. Turn this down as well. Where are you? Is that Rose? Because he's standing like Rose. You know how Rose is like, this is a beautiful color. I don't know who else this could be. But like, we already have Rose. It could be Dragon Ball Heroes Rose, but if they do that, I feel like that'd be such a cop out. Hey, look, if you give me a Dragon Ball Heroes Rose and make them brand new and unique, I don't care. I'm, I'm with it. Comment section below. Give me your best guesses. On who this is supposed to be. But he's standing just like Rose. But that could also be a fake out. What if like. What if we're going into the super what if territory. And this ends up being something like. I don't know. Gohan or something. Like <laughs> you never know. Because look the thing is. is Xenoverse is in this weird position right now. Where like there's so much. That they can do. That has to be drastically different. Than what they've been doing like the past like six years. Or it might just be something that, you know, we're all overthinking. It's just Rose. Maybe Rose is getting involved with the, the time change or something. I, I don't know. I'm excited. That's cool. Okay, so we have this, which doesn't show us anything. What are the comments saying? <laughs> Give us Xenos 3 already. I'm extremely happy and angry at the same time. <laughs> hey, look. All I'm going to say is a lot of people still play Xenoverse. And, and godly, a godly amount of people still play Xenoverse. I'm one of them. All right. So this is the, the roadmap that was just revealed. And like, bro, this this right here, these two right here pretty much kill any possibility of Xenoverse 3 being a thing. Because additional scenario, additional playable characters, what other characters can you still add? Like, I feel like everybody who should be in the game is in the game. Is that UI? I'm mad that my eyes just glazed over that. Okay, let's actually stop, stop, start to finish. So this comes out tomorrow, right? Yeah, tomorrow. October 12th. 
And we're getting the Festival of Universes, which I don't know what this is. Uh, I feel like this is just one of those gimmicks, like when they had Frieza take over Canton City. Probably doesn't mean anything. Maybe it'll reveal some stuff that's coming out in the future, but I'm not excited about this. I don't know what this is. Unless they're hinting that they're going to give us more gods in the game, which would be kind of dope. New Battle Mode Cross Versus. I'll be honest with you. 1v1 in this game works pretty well with air quotes. You know, obviously when Netco is evolved, it becomes ass. But I feel like anything that's experimental was kind of butt cheeks. Like, 3v3 was fun, but then when it becomes a 3v1 or 2v1, it doesn't work that well. So we all have like an honor system where we just do like a 1v1 and we all just wait. So we all like fight together. So I don't know how this will work. But if it's something cool and different, I'm with it. This is awesome. So we have uh, Ultra Instinct, which I've been playing with in the PC version of the game. But mine's completely different, obviously. I'm sure this is going to work uniquely to how they're trying to do it, yet be balanced. We have Avatar level cap unlock and then some feature improvements. I don't know what, that's, what this means. Probably just a patch notes or whatever. And then they're releasing free characters uh, that you can like play before you buy them, I guess. I mean, this is kind of cool, but whatever. And then this, of course, confirms that I, I think that, that what we saw in the beginning, the, the key art, is indeed the the box art for, for the PS5 and the Series X version of the game. And more. I mean, obviously, this doesn't mean anything right now. This is just them implying that they have a intention of going with Xenoverse for as long as possible. Xenoverse 2, that is. And I think that's perfectly fine. Then releasing Xenoverse 3... Versus continuously supporting Xenoverse 2 to me is the same thing because I know they wouldn't change that much. We we dream of Xenoverse 3 happening with a better netcode, but let's be real. This is Bandai we're talking about. They won't change it any more than it already is. So this is as Xenoverse 3 as it gets. And shit, if you want a Xenoverse 3, play Revamp on PC. Revamp is a great game. Revamp is as Xenoverse 3 as it gets. But yeah, what other characters can even do? This is the part where I say what other characters can they do and everyone's going to name this plethora of characters. That I'm like, oh yeah, duh. <laughs> like, are we gonna get, finally get dildo form Frieza and second form Frieza and stuff like that? Maybe. And matter of fact, they never gave us our second form Cell, who's in the game. I don't know, man. I'm excited. I don't really care as much because you know, for our content, you know, we already have our thing that we're doing with uh, the raids on the PC version. But the more content you give us, I think the better. I think it's a win-win. Yeah, Xenoverse 3, I feel like we'll just never go into ever see. Uh, maybe one day. When I'm an old man, and everybody here has kids. Y'all kids gonna play Xenoverse 2 updates. Think about that. <laughs> you, know, you, you know how old you're about to feel? When your kid pops into your room and goes, Dad, wanna play Xenoverse uh, 2 with me? The DLC just dropped. And then you hit it with the, I remember when they first made Xenoverse 2. <laughs> Why am I 90 years old in this, in this scenario? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on, on this update and what you think about the never-ending Xenoverse 2 campaign. Is it good? Is it bad? And I guess stay tuned for more. But like I said, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that they're supporting a game this long. I know some people will disagree and say, let the game die. But I disagree. Why would you let a game die that like a million plus people still play to this day? No, I'm not even kidding. A while back, they released the numbers. And there's over a million active players on Xenoverse still. That's why they're supporting the game so much. <laughs> But yeah, I guess let me know your thoughts and stay tuned for more. Unfortunately, I'm going to be gone. So if there's anything that drops over the course of the next couple weeks, uh, I'll cover when I get back. But for now, this is, of course, this is when I decided to drop Xenoverse stuff <laughs> when I'm leaving. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts. And I guess stay tuned for more. The second we get any more information about this game, I uh, will just go from there.